Hey YouTube, this next deck for I'm going to be doing is going to be my Angel Feather deck. Uh, this one's relatively new compared to the Oracle Think Tank one. Uh, it doesn't have a trial deck, so it's you, the only way to build it is based off of booster the booster packs alone, and I think there's only like two booster packs out of the seven that have these cards, so it's not that... I mean, it's not that easy to build compared to the others, but actually, surprisingly, from what I pulled, I was able to construct one anyway. Plus a couple of other add-ins. So to start, I have four, four uh, stand triggers. I pulled two of these and two of those, so I managed to get four. And then for draw triggers, I have four, uh, just four generic draw triggers, and then four critical triggers. So that's, uh, and then obviously I have the heal trigger. Now the heal triggers, I want to make a little note about the heal triggers. For those that are just strictly trying to build the decks, uh, like I did from buying boxes, uh, I thought that I'd be able to pull like four of the heal triggers, and that's not true. I only managed to pull, uh, from the earlier packs that have 80 cards in the set, typically you'll pull three heal triggers per box of, of any of the archetypes that are in that set. Uh, but in the newer ones, you're either, for some reason, you're either going to pull four, or you're either going to pull two, or in my case, I only pulled one. So I only pulled one of these from the box that it came in, so I had to get the other three uh, separately to complete the, the heal triggers for this deck. But I just wanted to make a short little note about that. So those trying to buy the boxes, hoping that they'll be able to build the entire deck, uh, it's not necessarily true. I mean, you can still build the deck... Uh, and run like two or three or just even wh however many heal triggers you pull and that'll work as long as you have 16 total and then there's no there's no overlapping meaning there's no no more than four of the same card uh, but in my case I was able to complete it anyway so those are the those are the triggers and then for the starters or actually for a grade zero I have one thermometer angel I can use it as a starter if I want but then I have another type of starter if I want to use this one. I have a Miracle Feather Nurse. Uh, this one's a rare. So those are my two starters. Depending on what the opponent's running, uh, I can uh, change it up. So those are the grade zeros. And then for the grade ones, I have one Lancet Shooter. Uh, it counterblasts one, gets plus 1,000. that You can use it to boost. And then I have one... A heavenly Injector, and then one Clutch Rifle Angel, and then I have two Burst Shot. Uh, now these, I only pulled, what you see is really just what I have, based on what I pulled in the box. So that's why I only have one of each of those, and then two of those, as because I only pulled that those cards. And then I have a Thousand Ray Pegasus, a Lightning Charger, Two carrier of the life water. One doctroid micro, or actually no, three doc, uh, doctroid micros, and then I have one battle cupid uh, nasil. This one's a triple R, so it was one of my triple Rs that I pulled from the box, and it's pretty good. Um, so I'm running that, and then I also managed to pull one of the perfect shield or perfect guard. So I ran, run that, obviously. And then those are the grade ones. So I got lucky in that I managed to pull uh, quite a few perfect guards out of all the archetypes. So you'll see that in the future videos. And then for grade twos, I have one Iron Heart, one Holy Zone, two Million Ray Pegasus. I think Pegasus is a ride chain. Uh, Doctroid Megalos, I have two of those, and then I have a rare battling or gatling shot, uh, Barbeel. That's basically the 10k beat stick for the grade twos, so this can go toe to toe against a grade three. And then I have one Love Machine Gun Nasil, so I guess that's another ride chain, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, it doesn't really, it doesn't seem to have any of those effects though. So that's that's a double R though. So I pulled that and then uh, one fate healer, 
and I pulled a double R core memory Armaros. So these are all the grade twos, and yeah, that's all the grade twos. And then for the grade threes, I basically have one pulse wave, one drill bullet, it's a rare, one rare mobile hospital, feather palace, one the phoenix, calamity flame, it's another rare, and then I have for another double R that I pulled, I have Cosmo Healer, Ergodial. So those are the ones. So those are what I pulled from the box. And then I just, to, to round it out and give it a more uh, a more well-known boss monster, because this one has its own card sleeve, I put in three uh, Circular Saw Curial, just to round out the grade three boss monsters and give it a more consistent one. So that's basically the deck. Uh, Angel Feathers is one of the newer archetypes, I believe. I think he, I forgot which one it came out in. It's, it looks like it was uh, Booster Pack number six, and seven. I think seven is the latest one, so they're relatively new. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks.